Hi there. Now, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that we talked about the magnitude of a vector a. By Pythagoras' theorem, the magnitude of that vector a having components x and y was the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now with this video, what I want to do is show you how we can use a vector method to work out the distance between two points. Let's say those points are a and b with coordinates 2, 1 and 3, minus 5 respectively. Now if I was to draw a sketch graph of this, we've got a with coordinates 2, 1 and b then with coordinates 3, minus 5. So we've got to find then the distance from A to B. And if I'm going to use a vector method, all I need to do is either work out the vector A to B or B to A. It's obviously going to be exactly the same length. I'm going to choose A to B. So we'll put an arrow on it like that. Now if I go back to the origin and think of the position vector of A, it's just going to mark that in as OA and the position vector of B, that would be O to B. Then by basic vectors, I can work out what the vector A to B is. A to B, remember, is exactly the same as going from A to O, followed by O to B. You might not want to write this result because you could take the shortcut. You should be familiar by now knowing that A to O is the same as negative OA. So I've got negative OA here plus OB, which I prefer to write as OB minus O to A. So you might want to bypass that result when you're doing questions like this. Just go straight from A to B being O to B minus O to A. Anyway, what we've got then is O to B as a column vector is going to be the vector 3 minus 5. And from that, we just need to subtract the vector O to A, which is 2, 1. And in the usual way, if you subtract those, you're just going to get 3 minus 2, which is 1, and minus 5 minus another one is minus 6. So when it comes to working out the length AB, I could write it like that, or remember I could write it as this AB with an arrow over the top and then put my two vertical lines down. Either way, then we use Pythagoras' theorem. It's going to be the square root then of 1 squared plus 6 squared. Remember, we can forget about the negatives. So we've got then the root of 1 plus 36, in other words, the root of 37. So quite a nice, simple idea, and I hope that sets you up for doing questions like this.